Hello everyone, 3D Hero here, and welcome to today's latest Time for 2 loadout video, where I bring you new loadouts every once a week. Today's loadout is going to be focused on a very colourful Apex Predator member, who enjoys taking a large amount of drugs, killing militia, and calling everyone scrubs. Yes, this loadout will be focusing on Crazy Kane of the Apex Predators. Now Kane is what we'd call a special individual that should never be released in the general frontier or public because of his unpredictable nature and violent tendencies. Something that makes him an ideal pilot for the frontier with the ever so chaotic battles that occur. Now except for his violent nature, he's also a drug user and seller, which is quite obvious to see looking at his face through some of the damages and scars that he's gained over the years. But this also changes his personality as well, because in one instance he could be completely calm, and then in another instance he could be completely chaotic and aggressive. So he's very unpredictable, as said previously. But it also makes him a very colourful character to interact with, compared to, say, all the other characters in game. So for this loadout, I want to stick with the unpredictable and slightly crazy theme for Kane. So going with a absolutely aggressive loadout, or going with a trickster loadout for both the class role and Titan being used. For my loadout, this is what I decided to go with. Your class should be the holo pilot to allow you to maximise on the chaotic nature for the build, but at the same time, this is the cl current class that Kane is seen using in game and promotional art as well. Your primary should be the L-Star, with his limitless magazine and messy finisher. This weapon seems to suit Kane very well for his brutal and very messy finisher, which goes, which goes hand in hand for Kane, who is equally as chaotic as can be. There's also a picture of Kane with the L-Star on his back, which also prompts me to believe that the L-Star isn't the main weapon he always uses, it's just a secondary weapon that he tends to use when he needs to. From some of the images I've seen, he's mainly seen using a pistol and I believe a data knife. So with that being the case, you don't have to use the L-Star, but you do have to use something that leaves a messy effect on the user. So something that leaves a, say, giblets everywhere. Something very destruct- I'll leave it up to you guys to decide on what you have to go with. It can't be anything that just shoots normal bullets, it has to be something that leaves a messy finisher. Your secondary can be either the P2016 for his nimble and balanced accuracy, or the RE45 for his high rate of fire but great finisher usage. Your anti titan weapon will be the charge rifle, which can be used to snipe titans down at long ranges, but can also be used on grunts and pilots that may be hiding or camping in specific areas. It's a great little weapon to practice on using against pilots and grunts, and it's very rewarding to nab a kill with it, since it does require you to predict where players and enemies may be going into. Sometimes it's not all the case, sometimes you can just land a one shot on them if they're standing still. But in other cases while they're still moving, it does allow you to practice on being a better accurate shot on some of the snipers in game. The ordnance now will be a such a charge for booby dropping areas and causing maximum destruction towards titans through baiting them into areas or outright detonating them when they're near you. Your boost can either be Hollow Pilot Nova or Tick Mines depending on whether you want a messy finisher against others or whether you want to trick them unexpectedly. This bit here is where it kind of leads into the two paths you can go with. Like I said, you can either go really aggressive and leave pretty much giblets and messy finishes everywhere. Or you can go be a trickster and trick unexpected pilots and basically humiliate them. It's really up to you. Your titan will be of course Scorch with his fiery and destructive nature that suits the Persona of Kane very well. Make sure you put the Here Kitty nose art to follow in Kane's path. And also go with the Scorched Earth Titan perk, so you can leave a lingering fiery path every time you use your core. I also recommend you use Overcore for the build, so you can start off with a at least 20% core meter when you get your Titan. But also it synergizes as well with your Titan kit. Lastly, your pilot kit can be Ordnance Expert and Kill Report, which both can work together to allow you to always know where enemy players may be and where to set up such charges, so you can always bait them into areas and watch the fun unfold. So playing as Kane, you would expect to mainly play on an aggressive playstyle, which many of you here watching already know how to do, but this leader also feels a lot more chaotic and unpredictable compared to all the other loadouts I've done, since you'll be creating a lot more giblets with your main weapon in Titan, but also at the same time you're going to be tricking players and ending them in the most humiliating way as possible. So to maximise this loadout, I decided to create two paths. Now you can either go with path A, that is, be more of a destructive player, be more aggressive, be someone that doesn't leave anyone standing, someone that uses your full titan to do a lot of horrors against other people. Or, you can be a more of a trickster player, you can set up traps, you can mainly use your pistol, you can go ahead and humiliate players. 
This is how I see Kane through my vision as a playable character. Because of his unpredictable nature, he could change his moods from aggressive to more of a trickster with deadly effects. And I wanted to portray that as best as possible by giving you these two options made available. So you can always change the fly and change your tactics if needed. For example, if you have a player on the other team that's trying to hunt you down specifically, one minute you can play as an aggressive player, pushing the enemy team back, not giving them any chances to recover. The next minute, you could go ahead and change your loadout to be completely focusing on bamboozing the players, making a mockery of them, you know, humiliating them, while also pushing them back. This is kind of the loadout I like to see be played as Kane. And it's also nice for you guys as well because, you know, it allows you to always adapt and advance on the different situations. By you always changing up your tactics, players won't be able to predict how to counter you. And if you become a lot more harder to counter, that's great, you become more better in game. But if players start to predict how to counter you, that's when you need to change up. And that's when you need to start adapting to other ways to stop players from advancing. And sometimes, that's just how it goes. It works for me, and it may work for you guys, but it really does depend on how the loadout plays out for you. And whether the loadout is designed for you, or if it's designed mainly for one path. For example, if you want to be aggressive, this is one path you can take. If you want to be a trickster, this is a path you can take. Or, there is a third path. You can be a bit of both. Be aggressive, but also trick players. So, give this a try if you like being unpredictable and keeping everyone else on their toes. I'm sure they won't see you coming through the many aggressive and stupidity you'll be bringing. So guys, that is the end of my video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then by all means leave a like, a comment and subscribe for more. If you didn't, then by all means leave a dislike, I understand. And I'll look back over the video to see what I need to improve on in the near future. And I'll also look back over the comments to see what you guys generally think about the video and the loadouts. So once again guys, thank you for watching and I do hope to see you again soon.